Hello, I'm uh, Vincent Dieu, the director of uh, Viaggio nella Dopo Storia, uh, which is my last film, and who tries to... It's a story of a director, me, that wants to make a new version of the Rossellini's film uh, Viaggio in Italia, and uh, as he's gay and he's been... Uh, having a boyfriend for a long time, he imagined that is his couple that is going back to Naples and having a kind of a couple crisis. So I am happy to present it in, uh, in the Berlinale. Welcome again to yeah. the Berlinale and mm. to the Teddy Awards. Yeah, you, you may yeah. have made it back yeah. to Germany's capital and brought another very interesting film. And the first thing I thought is you, um, what I really like about your work is the, that voice, those voiceovers, mm. and it's very poetic and it gives um, a, a lot of beautiful control. Because I, because my first thought was, third thought was, it's um, you, you gain a lot of control, right? If you mm. comment on things, mm. and that can sound negative, but it's not mm. negative really. But I really wanted to ask you what what that is. Why are you so um, obsessed with that voice over? What, what uh, does it? What but tool I, is it for you? I think it's maybe because I use cinema uh, mostly as a, a way to make kind of a diary of my life, mm -hmm. you know. And even if the, these are different films, it's always a chapter of mm -hmm. uh, this. Uh, yeah, this biopic I'm doing mm. about mm. myself, or I would say this cinema character I invented from film to film. And uh, even though this film, Viaggio nella Dopo Storia, is uh, one I, what I call exercise in admir admiration, uh, it's a force of it, but it's still part of this uh, autobiographic work uh, and uh, but that goes back to films or books or the play or paintings mm -hmm. uh, music that has been what I say in the film that has been uh, build, building mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as an artist and also as a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, and maybe the f fact that my voice is in it telling uh, what's going on, how I feel about, in general, doing the film. Also, it's a way to reflect with, uh, to, to think with the spectator about what is going on, what are we doing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I didn't want to make a simple remake of the film, you know, each scene and say, now these are two gays, it was a... Uh, and just play on that. I wanted also to ask myself and the spectator, why do I feel the necessity of doing, redoing that process of the a film of 1954? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why? I, I haven't got the answer, but mm -hmm. I had the, the desire and I managed to share it with uh, Simon and, and the crew. And I tried to give some answers in the film, say so maybe that when I saw it, I mixed Ingrid Bergman and my mother. Uh, I remember at that time that, you know, my parents were not fighting, but there were this little distance tension between, yeah. tension between yeah. them that I felt. Yeah. And maybe when I saw the film, I, I saw the, the same thing. And, uh, and I was also telling myself that today, maybe we are the first generation mm -hmm. who, would, who will know old married gay couples. Yes. You know, yeah. having yeah. Is, is, yeah, is there, do you couple think that, crisis. Couple crisis, yeah. yeah. Is, is that, um, is that, can that be an aim though of the queer or the gay community to, because there's been a lot of dis discussion, I think, again, since there was this big um, breakthrough in the United States too, that is, you know, in this big, powerful country, <coughs> it's possible there now too. 
Um, but there's also a lot of uh, criticism because of the idea that like all of a sudden you conform to this very like heterosexual, you know, like sure. married and you have sure. like a, a certain role to play and it's, yeah, sure. it's against the idea yeah. of kind of the gay liberation movement where you're like exactly. you know, freedom. Exactly, uh, maybe against the idea of queer. Yeah. Also of uh, a certain function of uh, subversion that yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gay should have. That's why uh, the, the film is also a question about that because, in a certain way, these two guys that I are bourgeois, mm -hmm. all, they, they come from London, mm -hmm. obviously, one of them is mm -hmm. a trader mm -hmm. making money, mm -hmm. they don't have time to mm -hmm. go there, and they, they are part also, we can feel that a little mm -hmm. bit of the art world mm -hmm. in London, so they are friends with Gilbert and George, mm -hmm. and you know, they, they're quite in the mood, but they are the Upper class, mm -hmm. yes, I think so too. Class. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, <laughs> even if I took off the Bentley, but uh, I think in the Rossellini film it was very strong. Yes, they yes. are. They are yes. a little bit like uh, uh, feel protected by this car, yes. and they go mm -hmm. to Naples. The Naples after the war, yes. completely bombed, very poor, yes. and they protect yes. themselves in mm -hmm. big hotels, beautiful houses. Yes. Capri, uh, yes. and it's a little bit the same, but uh, I. So it's a question. Yes, maybe the 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 marriage between men uh, is also a way to conform to a certain norm, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why I try to to take the same. Not the same dialogue because everything is adapted. The mm -hmm. language changed a mm -hmm. lot, they, they, and all, all and the technique because they're always doing SMS, mm -hmm. technology, and, uh, and everything, technology, yeah, how it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. But the fact is, you're right. They are also protecting a certain class mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a certain idea of tourism, mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. That so is it's not, not my not idea of Europe. You yeah. know, they are really is sometimes. So what are they representing? What are they representing in a way? Uh, to you? They're representing, uh, yes, the, the gay couple as a form of, uh, maybe as was the uh, Igmar Bergman couple also in the, in the 70s. But I think that now we, we are in a certain way able to, to compare these two possibilities mm -hmm. and maybe to realize uh, that asking for the rights was definitely okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not the, the e major issue of queer and uh, homosexuality, I guess. Do you think right. sexuality plays a role in, that, in, in your film and, and, and sensuality? I think it plays a big role in, in the sense uh, it's never said, mm -hmm. as it was in the film of Rossellini. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the Rossellini film, there is not at all uh, between them, no gesture, anything, and, and this I, I tried to, to respect that. Mm -hmm. But for example, in the Rossellini's film, when they go to that party, mm -hmm. uh, or, or when uh, George Sandor goes to Capri, mm -hmm. he just have a flirt with uh, another, another woman in mm -hmm. the film, mm -hmm. and there, Obviously, fuck together, but I don't film the scene. It just close the door and. and why, yeah, why don't? Why, because I, I also do think that talking about like older gay couples, there's really a lack of representation in terms of sexuality mm. and the you know the, the visualization of it or mm. seeing it being mm. exposed to it in a way. Uh, do, you th do, you, do you think about that at all, or is that...? No, I didn't want to do that in the film, because I, I wanted to keep a parallel with the model uh, right. of the film right. uh, right. overall. And, but um, I think it's very present mm -hmm. in the non-shown things. Mm -hmm. For example, in my diary, inside the film, mm -hmm. you know, I receive SMS from other men, so mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I, but it's never shown. It's because only... in your first film I saw, yeah, it was very I know, vocal, I your sexuality, yeah, yeah, it was very, very vocal. So, yeah, yeah. And I did a film with porn, self-porn yeah, scenes, yeah, so, yeah, I, so I have nothing to, <laughs> to prove about yeah. No, I really yeah. wanted to be ambiguous <laughs> with the, uh, the black and white and the, the 50s and, and uh, years. Uh, of today, you know, having kind of a game with uh, overall with the form, with the colors that is coming and going in, in the film like that, all these screens of mm -hmm. computers, mm -hmm. uh, mobile phone and TV. Or, mm -hmm. 
So it's more in that, but the, the I think that one of the major uh, issues on, on that gay couple uh, thing is that uh, sexuality is definitely independent of sentiments and feelings. There are two things mm. different. And, Can you explain uh, that a little bit? What? I think that, for example, uh, even now, uh, in general, two men that get to know each other, mm -hmm. they make love first, and then they see okay. if they have things in common. You know, okay. it's okay. it's uh, so the and, uh, and the idea of a, uh, of a faithfulness mm -hmm. is not the same. Mm -hmm. We have to say it. It's mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so. It's another. Uh, it's another way, but I, I play the game of a, a comparison. But for example, uh, when I go to the party, uh, there I, I have a little flirt with the owner of the of this uh, place, and he, he takes me in the toilet to take coke and, and all that. We, we don't make love, but it's the other is jealous, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's more a matter of a kind of a contract you can have with someone. Mm -hmm. And I'm, uh, I'm very fascinated by that in uh, gay couples, you know. Some of them, they, they can have uh, stories out of the couple, but they, they, or they want to be the two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you actually know, I was, I'm still really interested in that. Do you know uh, gay couples that are strictly monogamous? Very strictly. I know, I know, but so, uh, you know some. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know some, but I, I, I assume they don't have any more uh, sexual life. Mm -hmm. So you think it's a killer, like the? the no, it's not that. I think it's a choice. Uh, yeah. Many yeah. gays after a certain age. Mm -hmm. They are not interested anymore, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, okay, uh, yeah. and it's okay with that. Um, but I guess men's, I don't know, for lesbians, I think it's quite different, <laughs> very different. I, I talk about gay men couples. Mm -hmm. There is always an ambiguity uh, mm -hmm. about that, about uh, uh, the fact of uh, desiring someone else for a, a night or mm -hmm. uh, is not that important as it was in the uh, straight uh, wedding of the 50s, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But at a certain hand, you, you have to respect the feeling of the other. And you your know, partner. It's, more, yeah. Yeah, and it's really something that I, I think it does exist. Not that much that, that love between men, men has less to do with possession. Yes. And this maybe is something that remains subversive mm -hmm. in the society, even the more bourgeois. Mm -hmm. And I tried to, to make uh, the two characters maybe more complicated than they were in the film of Rossellini that is really in jail with all these rules they had in this uh, English bourgeois thing. Uh, They, they are more, uh, for example, I wanted uh, Alex Simon to smoke joints always, you know, he's always uh, searching uh, grass uh, and uh, offering joints to people he meets. So he's kind of, you know, in a certain way, he's perhaps the one who is more in the money things, but he's always uh, perhaps more than me uh, in life, you know, also. Like in, interacting uh, or like yeah, being social or what? Yeah, the pleasure of life, you know, really. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And the other one is more in the art things, you know, mm -hmm. asking, uh, he's interested more in politics, uh, mm -hmm. going to that squad, uh, artist squad to, to visit things, you know. I tried to, to reconsider the couple of 54 mm -hmm. and to adapt it to there. But it's in any case, uh, a statement I make, just asking questions, mm -hmm. you know, and overall to analyze my relation to, to cinema. 
And did you did you script it before, or was it all happening spontaneously during the shoot, basically? Uh, it... No, no. All the scene, I rewrote the dialogues. You really, yeah. Uh, in French, and then I had I had them uh, translated in English because the original version of uh, Viaggio in Italia was in English. In English yes. Ingrid Bergman. Uh, so uh, and with Simon, I speak in English, so mm -hmm. it was kind of. So what's your real relationship with them? Yeah, so yeah, we knew each other very well. We've been seeing it a lot. And very early, mm -hmm. as I met him as an actor on stage, mm -hmm. I was sure we would do something together. Artistically. And, uh, artistically. Okay. And I think this is maybe, for me, mm -hmm. the most relevant proof of love. You know, oh, okay. doing something together, really. Yes, creating. Time, Not yeah. only assigning a paper, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, and this is true for all uh, my films, mm -hmm. all the people that have been involved. It's also the way that, uh, yeah, we've been doing something uh, together. And I hope something beautiful. So it's, uh, it's really important. And this, this, I guess, is perhaps uh, a more interesting form of wedding uh, for me. Of, uh, yeah, building something that you show to others. We've been doing that together. And how did he experience the, the finished project in the end? Did he... I think he, his uh, the, the, the thing is that the shooting was quite uh, short, so we, we were completely uh, hysterical uh, because, you know, it's a very small crew. And, mm -hmm. and I didn't... Uh, I wasn't sure we could make all we've been doing. I, mm -hmm. I, at the very, to be really honest, I thought we, we would do the three important scenes that remained in my mind on the terrace, and the, when he comes back from Capri lighting the, and they make mm -hmm. as if they don't know each other, he's, mm -hmm. he's waiting for the other, and, uh, and in the car in the beginning also. So that was the three things. And then, Imagining we started doing the, the others and say, let's pretend it's here and we do that. So it was all in the moment. And it was yes, but the dialogues, the dialogues were prepared were and, uh, and I had my uh, friend and uh, cameraman Arnold Pasquier, that is also a, a director. And at the last moment, he would look the scene on a DVD mm -hmm. and say, so yes, we can do a little bit like this, like that and uh, we'll have more or less uh, a version of that old scene. So, but I, I didn't look at it. It was, oh, sorry. So you, <laughs> <laughs> fingers on the microphone. But, uh, but you, so you, you didn't play the director in that, in the moment. I was moment. the you director were, and, uh, that's, but uh, at the end I, I had to trust uh, yes, uh, Arnold deeply. and I did. And also the sound the director that is, it's mm -hmm. always the same people mm -hmm. uh, in Jaurès and all that. So. Uh, and we had fun also because it was a very strange place in Naples we were in. So mm. you have always, always yes, mixing real life and uh, Fiction, and the right? film life. So it was uh, really funny. And I, overall, I love uh, Naples. And you know, we found this uh, terrace that has a very beautiful view, like in, in the film, more or less. Except that in the Rossellini's film, it's out of Naples in the countryside. Mm -hmm. There, it was really in the center. So we all, a mm -hmm. lot of noise, Exposed. but uh, it was very, very interesting, and and we had to involve also people from the city to help us. Uh, so it was really kind of sort of a clandestine film because we didn't get any permit to do Permits that. So we were shooting in the guerrilla, guerrilla uh, shooting. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, in the bus, in the, the cabs, you know, like that, and it was very. Very funny. So, so we had a very good time, very intense, because it was short, and at the end we did almost the whole film. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, funny, and uh, and we didn't have any any commitment, you know, for uh, give back something. It was a try. So maybe that's why we managed to do it because there were not a lot of pressure. You know, and uh, and then I started look to everything, so, uh, and show it to my editor uh, Dominique Ouvray. That is, uh, 
And you had a, you have a really beautiful product in the end. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and and, uh, and overall we started to, as I do, as I did in Jaurès, it's the same thing. It's a very poor material, but now with the numeric thing, you can, you know, turn it in something yes. yeah. quite uh, interesting. Yes. Anyhow, that's why I also use a lot of internet images that I mix with the um, with the film because the, the the for me. The major issue was to mix a reflection about the gay couple uh, as a, a form of today's uh, bourgeois norm mm -hmm. in a certain way, but also a reflection about what is cinema today. For example, black and white today is just an effect. You have a button, you push, and it's black and white. It's not as it was in the 54, then, yeah, uh, yes. something. Uh, if, if he could have done it in color, he would. <laughs> but uh, so to reflect on that, and, and this was a, a work we could do afterward uh, on the, with the colorist. We had all the, uh, of Ciper, um, Super uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and also to, to mix this uh, kind of uh, diary of making of the film. You know, okay. shall I make the film? Will uh, Isabella Rossellini say yes? There is all this discussion with the lawyer about am I allowed to do a remake of that film? You know, and to mix all these different levels in the film and to play with the color also. If mm -hmm. you look at the mm -hmm. film, there are different mm -hmm. material used. And it's, it's not very spectacular, but if you look sometimes, there is some blue coming, some red, and again it goes when you go back to the film. It's more uh, like a drawing, you know, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So we, we used also the form, the artistic uh, form, thing yeah. we could have yeah. that are very poor, but very efficient, I, I think. And then the music also, I found something very strange that makes a little bit like Hollywoodian film music. And then you have scratches, mm -hmm. very electro scratches DJ, that comes uh, on it. Yeah. So it, it all was so you, part you, of this. It's mm. a whole, it's a it's, it was a whole artistic journey you embarked. Yeah, on. and you yeah. have I think you have three more screenings. Yes, uh, here at the Berlinale. So I hope a lot of people will come and see your film. Mm -hmm. Congratulations yeah. again for bringing it to this festival. Yeah, Thank well, you I'm so very glad for it's coming. here too, yes. and uh, very glad to, to I see uh, the Teddy yes. crew again and enjoy for, the, for the fifth time. Fifth time, you see. Yeah, please enjoy the the next. Um, Six more days, I think yeah. it is. Thank you very much.